Hello guys, my name is Zach Mueller and welcome to the unboxing video for the Blue Fontaines. Yes, they're real, they're in my hands. There's about a billion of them packaged up over there. But for right now, I am taking a break from packaging to show you this deck. So yeah, let's do it. The box looks pretty much identical to the first uh, Fontaines, the bottom of which does not have a smudge, yay! I'm so excited about that! Uh, we'll pop these open right here. Seals on US Playing Card Company decks do not actually work. They're just there. Like really, they could just get rid of those. No one uses the seal. Because they don't work. Uh, box you're familiar with if you uh, have seen the red Fontaines. Same little spade up here. And when we pop these open, you get the Joker. I'm gonna throw this on the floor. It hurts my soul to throw that on the floor. And I suppose I will fan them, since that's what every person seems to do when they take their cards out of the box. And I'm pretty goddamn happy with, with that. So of course, on top, you have your ad card and your blank card. I'm not actually gonna show you the ad card because it's a little bit different than the red Fontaines, and I want it to be a surprise when you open the deck for the first time, because I think you'll think you'll think it's pretty awesome, or at least I hope you will. Right out of the box, these feel pretty damn phenomenal. They're definitely springier, and uh, I guess a little stiffer than the first Fontaines. Uh, they feel like the cards are thicker. They're not actually thicker, they just feel a little bit stiffer. So they take a little bit longer to break in. So this is a brand new deck. As you can see, it's a little bit stiff and hard to spring without breaking it in. But this deck is about a week old. I've been using it as much as I can. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's a lot, a lot more springy and a lot less stiff. So after you work them in for a bit, they feel really nice. Whew. Whew. Oh, that makes me happy. So at this point in the video, you've seen a brand new deck of cards, how that handles. You've seen a about week old deck of cards, how that handles. And now you will see about a week and a half, almost two weeks uh, used Blue Fontaines. Surprisingly, they last really well and they still fan pretty damn decently. Um, not obviously as great as when you first take them out of the box, but definitely better than the Reds did. Um, in my personal experience, after about three or four days, the Red Fontaines clump pretty bad. Um, but these, I think because they're stiffer and just because it's a larger print run than 2500, obviously we made a lot more than 2500, there is one tiny little caveat that is a bit disappointing that I have to point out because I would just feel bad not pointing it out. At the end of the Kickstarter and the backer kit, after all those orders had been placed, we had 11,000 decks that had already been sold that we have to send out to people. Um, you can see most of them here in this throne situation. So, I ordered 15,000 through the US Playing Card Company, and that's what you see behind me. 15,000 decks of cards, minus the about 300 packages that I've already shipped out already, which is going great, by the way. The good news is, because there's about 4,000 decks that have not been sold, I may sell those in the future, which is great for the ton of people who have asked me rigorously, why can't I buy them, where can I buy them, they're not even on eBay, where can I get them? They will be available at some point, in some form, in the future. I don't know when, I have to finish all of these first and make sure all of this is handled before I even think about selling additional decks. The not so good news is that on the bottom of the box, uh, it says one of 5,000. Originally, when I had sent the art files to the US Playing Card Company, this was before the Kickstarter went up. So I assumed that we would only have to print 5,000 because we'd only get that much money, that we'd need to print only 5,000. We ended up printing a lot more, and unfortunately, I never changed the art file. I sent this to all my friends and my family to proof it, and it slipped by all of us. So when you get the deck, there should be a little tiny one before that five, because there's actually 15,000 decks, not only 5,000. 
So I want to make that as clear as possible. I'm sorry that there's a typo on there. It sucks. But on the bright side, there's no smudge on any of the decks. These don't have those. They don't have smudges. They are clean and beautiful. They just say 5,000 instead of 15,000. So, kind of sucks, but now yeah, you know. As I said, we've shipped out about 300 packages so far, and today I'm shipping out the first batch of bricks, which is awesome, so if you ordered a brick, that may be coming in the mail very soon. Some people have already got their decks. Uh, Greg Van Holsbeck on Twitter was the first person to uh, send me a picture of him holding his deck. Uh, if you get your deck now or in the future, please take a picture of it. I would lo I love seeing it. It makes me so happy to see something that I've packaged and put work into and put time into and it's finally at your doorstep. So if you want to tweet me, I'll retweet it and uh, yeah, I'm very excited about everything, about the world, guys. Can you see the excitement on my face? Oh, also, there are some extra surprises in the packaging for uh, the Fontaines, meaning in the box, I threw some goodies in there. And also, there's another surprise inside the deck that, uh, that I haven't shown you. So, if you open your deck, uh, fan them. Just do a circle fan, and there should be a little surprise for you in there. So that's fun. Last but not least, the winner of the comment contest from the last update video is Jamie Tucher, or Tucher. You win a brick. Uh, he just said me, which was nothing really like special or creative, but it got three thumbs up, which is strange. Also, you should go check out Jamie's channel. He did an awesome, awesome, awesome uh, compilation video of MagicCon and Cardistry Con. He's also really young, like 13, and does crazy cardistry. So, not only a brick, but a shout out to Jamie Tucker or Tucher. Either way. This is something I've been talking about and anticipating since December, and almost half a year later, it's all finally happening. And these decks are real, they're actually shipping, people are getting them, and it's finally all paying off. And I can only. Thank you about a million times. I know I've already thanked you a bunch, but thank you, truly. It, it, it's been a, an amazing year so far, and I think it's only gonna get better. Enjoy your Fontaines. They should be arriving soon. <laughs> I'm still a little bit sick, but generally, things are good, and I'll see you at the next update.